like, oh my god, that's right. Oh yeah, you guys saying I'm like, No, no. It all happened yesterday. I just took my mouth, it's really on. Like, it's cool to have Look how he's looking at you too. He's like, oh, I love you back. He's like, please love me. Please love me. <laughs> hey! Please love me, happy oh. baby. Hi, I love you. Come home with me. <laughs> Don't get that off with me. Oh It's already there. Yeah, it's already there now. Definitely put that in the next episode. <laughs> I'm always in the next episode. <laughs> Club, you know, Munchkin. So, I Probably. Yeah. Yep, he is. <laughs> I knew you were going to. What we do is we place electrodes at the base of the ear as well as at the top of the head. And then we put little speakers in their ears to make a cooking noise. And what we're trying to test with the electrodes is the electrical signals from the hearing pathway starting in your cochlea all the way up to your brain stem. There are certain breeds that we see congenital deafness in. I'll show you shepherds are one of those. Um, we also see them in Dalmatians and Jack Russells, a few other breeds. And deafness in dogs is related to their pigment color. So we see it in a lot of the breeds that are lighter colored and that have lighter eyes as well. Those blue eyes. <laughs> blue eyes, pretty blue eyes. All right, so this machine will make a series of clicks running at how many decibels it is. Um, but it'll make a series of clicks and average the waveforms uh, from the cochlea and the cochlear nucleus and nerve all the way up the hearing pathway to the brain stem. So we're looking for waveforms here. And right now it looks like there might be some evidence of hearing in this right ear. But we have to, we've gone through about 300, almost 400 clicks. We usually do about 2,000 and then it'll average them. So we have to see if it averages out to something that's usable. This is just kind of noise down here, so I'll pay attention to that one. We're looking at waveforms here, which represent different um, stops along the hearing pathway. Typically, if you put a speaker in a puppy's ear and make a lot of clicks at a high enough decibel, they'll resist in some way. And he's had a little bit of sedation, so he's calmer now, but he's still not responding to um, this noise. So. The longer we let this go, the more this kind of flattens out into um, not normal waveforms, which tells me that he's probably deaf in the right ear. And then we'll let this finish out. We've got about 500 more clicks to go. Then we'll test the left ear. So we can see <laughs> we've got pretty flat waves both here. Here there's a few bumps here, but it's nothing like what normal should look like. Um, I'm just trying to find a picture. <laughs> so this dog is bilaterally deaf, and that's not unfortunately uncommon in certain breeds. And so these owners are gonna let the breeder know, and then hopefully um, with the, she'll look at the parents and try to figure out who might be contributing to the deafness here and not breed that pair anymore, or take that potential parent out of the rotation from the breeding group.